Jacques, as we look back at your career, your stats are simply staggering. But how do you look back at your cricketing career? I suppose, you know, the day that you start and you step onto the field for the first time, um, you don't dream about playing for 17 years, you know, like I have. So, um, you know, looking back, I, I look back with a lot of fond memories. Um, you know, lots of ups, lots of downs, but um, you know, playing for South Africa, I suppose, there's been a lot more, more ups than there have downs. Uh, maybe you know missing out in that World Cup has, has been the biggest downer, but you know I, I look back with, with a lot of fond memories. Not only do you play all forms of the game, you bat and you bowl. What is your secret? I've been very fortunate. Uh, you know I haven't had too many injuries over the over the past you know 17 years. So um, you know I've kept myself pretty fit. Uh, I think I've learned mainly how to manage myself. That that's been the key, and knowing when to push and, and when to hold and, and put in the time. So it's probably a combination of all those things. What for you are the main difficulties in being an all-rounder? Look, obviously there's a, there's a lot of hard work that you've got to put in. Um, it's quite taxing on the body and, and mind. Uh, but you know the rewards are, uh, I suppose, you know, double of, of rather than just being a batter or a bowler. You know, I've, I've always enjoyed being involved in the game. And um, you know, when I'm a batter, I see myself as a batter. And when I'm bowling, I'm, uh, I feel like I'm a, I'm a bowler. So I take both as <laughs> seriously as each other and enjoy succeeding and, and doing well in both. Have you at any stage considered perhaps giving up, say, the bowling in order to concentrate on your batting? Look, there might come a stage and I might have to do that, but you know, I'm still young enough and, and fit enough to keep doing both now. Uh, perhaps my workload of the ball has been uh, lightened a little bit and, and perhaps don't do as much bowling as I, I did a few years ago, but uh, you know, like I said, I, I still in, enjoy being involved in the game and, and contributing with both bat and ball. Does it help sometimes? I mean, speaking to some other all-rounders, they, they talk about how it sometimes helps but kind of takes the pressure off one and, and the other, so you can make a contribution if you fail with the bat, you can come in with the ball. And, is, is that something that you've felt as well? Definitely. Uh, you know, as much as it is hard work, um, you know, I think you know, one can rub off from the other. Uh, you know, there's, if you do well with the bats, you know, it, it rubs off, and then sometimes you, you're struggling a little bit with the ball. You, you know, can um, you know feel one sort of flowing into the other. So, you know, it definitely has um, advantages of being an all rounder, I suppose you could say. Because of your success with the bat, do you feel that sometimes your bowling is underrated, and does that perhaps help you sometimes? I suppose it does. Um, you know, I think it just depends what role um, you know I'm asked to play, whether it's attacking or, or defensive. Um, you know, generally when, when um, you know, you're bowling with the likes of Alan Donald as I have over my career, and, you know, Dale Stain, Mornay Morkel, um, they're probably going to look to try and score a few a little bit more and, and maybe take a few more chances than they, they would against them. So I suppose it, it definitely has its uh, you know, advantages being, being underrated at times. Now after that golden era of all-rounders, the likes of Imran Khan, Richard Hadley, Ian Botham, Kapil Dev, you've perhaps been the most consistent of the all-rounders. How have you managed that over such a long period of time? It, it is it's strange now. I, I can only put it down to the amount of crickets, you know, why there aren't perhaps as many all-rounders these days as, as there was in the past. Um, you know, it, like I said, it, it is hard work and you know, you've know got to learn how to manage yourself. So um, I suppose guys are, are really focusing on, on the, you know, the one part of the game and you, know, you get a lot of part-timers that um, you know, either bat a little bit or, or bowl a little bit. So um, like I said, managing, managing your time and um, I suppose energy spent is, is the, the key to that. Do you feel that you're perhaps not given the credit that you're due? Um, I, I've never been one that worries too much as, about stats and, and that sort of stuff and you know I've never played the game for that so um, maybe one day it'll mean a little bit more to me but I think while you're involved in the game you're always trying to win games to your country or province or, or whatever team you're playing for and, and that at the time is more important than, than worrying about that sort of stuff. I, I've always said that if you, you take care of the on-field stuff you know, off the field stuff take care of it, uh, will take care of itself. Um, yeah, and also to be fair with um, you know, those guys, they never played as, as much cricket as what we did. So you know, who knows what those guys would have achieved if they played as, as many games and for as long as what we did. Now often the, the more kind of say flamboyant characters of cricket, the likes of, you know, kind of the, the Laras, the Tindalkas, the Pontings, grab a lot of the headlines uh, as opposed to the, the kind of the Calluses and the Dravids. Is that something that kind of bothers you in, in any way? Not at all. It's probably worked on my, my advantage. Uh, you know, I think I'm that type of character that, you know, enjoys his, his private time and, and quiet time. So, um, you, you know, it's, it's never really bothered me. I, like I said, it's probably, it's probably suited me. I, I just like getting on in, the, you know, and, and playing the game and, and not worrying too much about any other things. Um, you know, it's, it's probably freed up a little bit more time than, um, you know, the, the probably the guys that are in the media a little bit more. It, it takes up a lot of their time.